All right, so I'm here with my thoughts on um, a possible Jeff Hardy return to WWE. Um, first off, do I think it's going to happen? If, you know, I don't know. I, I really think, I don't know too much about the situation. I don't know too much about Jeff Hardy. Um, do I think it's going to happen? I don't know. I think it's, I think it'll, in some capacity he will come back to the company. I mean, everybody normally does, whether it be, you know, Hall of Fame, just a one-time appearance to show up non-wrestling but do I think he will come back in a wrestling role um I tend to think not uh because he did get the drug thing he's been in trouble with drugs a lot and I just don't think that WWE you know is gonna bring him back like that after he's gotten all these drug things or whatever um and quite frankly I don't I wouldn't blame them if that was their reasoning like one one time you you get caught with drugs, you know, okay. Two times, I mean, that's when you really should start fucking, you know, like, Jesus, this guy's a problem. Like, even one time I would understand releasing him. You know, I think you should release him after, you know, they give him, like, three strikes. And what? what? I mean, it should be, I think it should be one time with fucking, you know, um, any, any drugs or whatever, you know, like, major cocaine or whatever, you know, like, you don't want that shit happening. You don't want him smoking cocaine in the back. Steroids are one thing because that doesn't that not only affects you, uh, you know, you get stronger, then it could affect you twenty years down the line. But you know, like you don't want somebody wrestling a match high. That's pretty much what I'm trying to say. You know, you, I think there might there, there there should be like a little bit stricter restrictions there. I mean, three strikes. I mean, that seems a little too high, too too many. But um. You know, I just don't think they're going to bring him back because of that. He, again, it could happen, but, you know, I don't think they're going to bring him back in a wrestling capacity and give him a top spot or, or give him a spot in the comp. Maybe he'll take on, like, a Rob Van Dam role where he's not, like, a major guy, but he's sort of a mid-card guy, you know, just wrestling. You know, he's still, a, 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 a you know, there, but he's not, I, I, I don't know, like, He's not going to be given a top spot, which I understand. I mean, he's getting up there in age. He's taking a lot. Like, back in, you know, fucking, when they wrestled all those table matches, tag, you know, tag team, Hardy Boys, he's taking some crazy-ass bumps and shit. So he's probably not going to be in the company or in, in wrestling too much longer. But Although, like, he does seem like he's not doing that bad. I mean, it still seems like his body's in pretty good shape, which is actually a shocker from all the bumps he's taken and all the drugs he's done and all the shit he's been into. So, um, you know, I, I, I don't think he'll come back in a wrestling, you know, capacity. It's possible, but I don't think he will. Do I hope he w would, you know? I, I wouldn't mind it at all, actually, you know. But, again, I mean, I understand where they're coming from, you know, if WWE doesn't want him back because he's done all the drugs. Um, do, but I, I, I do hope to see him in, in, in WWE because I never really had, had, have, had, have had a chance to see Jeff Hardy perform because I don't watch TNA I, and when he was in WWE I didn't watch it. So I, I would sort of like to see Jeff Hardy come back, maybe a Royal Rumble appearance or whatever. Uh, I think it would be exciting. It would be something new and different. It would be something, a, a new spark, uh, you know, to... to, to, to uh, you know, entertain me or in, and entertain everybody else. I know a lot of people want to see Jeff Hardy back, so if they have the opportunity, excuse me, if they have the opportunity to do it, might as well do it. Might as well try it. Don't give him a top spot though, in case he goes on drugs again. But you know, give him a mid card spot there, like a Rob Van Dam roll or whatever. Have him put some people over, whatever. You know, I, I, you know, I think it would be beneficial for the company to have him back at least try it. Um, and, and see where it goes. Or bring him back for like a non-wrestling role. A one-time thing. A Royal Rumble appearance. Something like that. It, it, it would be beneficial to have him back in some capacity. Some way. Uh, I, I think. And you know. Again. I, I don't know too much about the situation. So for me to make a prediction about it. Is sort of. Uh, you know. Uh, a guess. An educated guess. Uh, but. I would. I, you know. I wouldn't mind seeing him back. I wouldn't mind seeing a lot of people. Like Angle. I would love to see Angle back. Uh, you know, or a lot of people back, you know, it would be cool to see a lot of people return, you know, wrestle a match or two or, you know, just appear, you know, it's cool to see legends back and shit like that because it's, you don't get, uh, you know, the opportunity to see people like that too often, you don't get 
the opportunity to see legends come back that often. It's only like, you know, uh, it's not that often. So when it does happen, it's a cool moment, and, and I hope they, you know, bring a lot of, you know, at least some guys back from previous years because it's cool when somebody returns. Returns are like one of the best parts of wrestling, in my opinion. Some of the best moments are returns. So I would love to see, you know, somebody like Jeff Hardy to return uh, to, to back to WWE someday. So well, there you go, people.